even the rays of the sun to illuminate the brilliance of Ram Lalla's compassion towards humanity. I'll show you those pictures, viewers, those iconic pictures from this morning in just a few moments. 500 years ago, when Ram Lalla's Janam Bhumi was desecrated by the fire of Islamist intolerance, Hindus had all but lost hope of reclaiming this holy ground. On January 22nd, earlier this year, that hope was restored when Ram Lalla's statue was consecrated within the sanctum sanctorum of the hallowed Ram Mandir that caprisons the place of the deity's birth, of the living deity's birth. The Ram Mandir was delivered by the Supreme Court and the relentless efforts of the BJP in its quest to restore long-suppressed Hindu aspirations. The battle was tough because an ecosystem of self-styled secular politicians have resolutely trivialized Hindu faith in Lord Ram. There is just no other way of saying it, viewers. But today, on Ram Navami, the Prime Minister logged in virtually to observe the Surya Tilak that he dubbed a moment of bliss. There it is, viewers. And it truly was. India too was dazzled at that precise time when the sun rays fell on Ram Lalla's visage, framing the outlines of an incandescent Surya Abhishek. Viewers, listen in to the Prime Minister who was clearly moved by this. And he talked about it at length. Hi, your Bahano. Aj Ram Naomi ka pavitra parva bhi hai. Pansko varsho ke baad, lambe intajar ke baad, wo Ram Naomi aai hai, jab Bhagavan Ram. आयोध्या में भव्य मंदिर में विराजमान है प्रभु श्री राम जो कभी टेंट में रहते थे आज भव्य मंदिर में सूर्य किरणों ने उनके मस्तक का अभिषेक किया है Yes, the Prime Minister talking about the Surya Abhishek. But no sooner had the Prime Minister shared the joy of the moment with millions of Ram Bhaks, the opposition erupted in querulsome protest. In what appeared to be a coordinated attack, they set about targeting Modi and also cast a shadow over Ram Navami celebrations by making gloomy predictions. One after the other viewers, listen in to them. Let me actually, instead of listening into these people, let me actually read out what they have said because sometimes viewers it registers more clearly. Jairam Ramesh, the face of the Congress party of the media department, said Maryada Purushottam Sri Ram had sacrificed his power to keep his word. Today, the traders of that Maryada Purushottam Ram are sacrificing their word every day to stay in power. Viewers, he was of course by far the most, the most piercing in his criticism. Listen into the others. Raj Satta ka moh chhoad kar, Raj Tilak chhoad kar, Ayodhya ka Raj Paat chhoad kar, Maryada nivhane ke liye, जंगल चले गए थे भगवान का और आज कुछ लोग मर्यादा पुरुषोत्तम के नाम पर सत्ता का संघर्ष कर रहे हैं सत्ता प्राप्त करना चाहते हैं तो उनसे कहना चाहते हैं भगवान राम को राजनीति से दूर रखो रामनवमी को जो कोई कुछ लोगों ने पेटेंट कर लिया है उनकी बपौती नहीं रामनवमी रामनवमी करोड़ों लोग हजारों वर्ष से मनाते चले आ रहे हैं और एक राम मंदिर नहीं है हजारों राम मंदिर इस देश में हैं और लेडी 
और इसमें तो उन्होंने सब अधूरा प्राण प्रतिष्ठा वगैरह की है सारे जगत गुरु शंकराचार्य उसके विरोध में थे जो तो पहले होते रही हूँ मैंने तो कभी किसी पूजा नहीं की मैं तो भगवान का नाम लेता हूँ असली भक्त हूँ भगवान मैं दिखावा नहीं कर मैं पाखंडी नहीं हूँ पाखंडी लोग ये सब कर इज इट अ सोल प्रोपराइटरशिप ऑफ बीजेपी इलेक्शन आर फॉट वर्ल्ड ओवर आई एम आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन थ्रू योर चैनल ऑन एम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑन इन्फ्लेशन ऑन इंक्लूसिव डिवलपमेंट वॉट आर वी फाइटिंग ऑन Shame on us that the Prime Minister has brought this nation to this level. Shame on us. Amra danga chai na, amra shanti chai. O danga kore, board do kar kore na me, adesh ka kya bikri kore na me. The BJP hit back, accusing the opposition of trivializing Hindu symbols, of suspecting Hindu devotees, and of fear mongering over Hindu festivals. Is the BJP right in attributing motives to the actions of the opposition? Well, viewers, judge for yourselves as I take you over some hard facts that I have pulled out to examine whether the opposition has trivialized Hindu faith, traditions, customs, what have you. Well, listen in, first viewers, K N Rajanna, Karnataka minister. He said two dolls were kept in a tent. Can't be called Lord Ram. UPA government to Supreme Court no historical evidence to establish existence of Ram Setu that was the UPA's affidavit in the Supreme Court Chandrasekhar RJD leader he said the Ram Charit Manas spreads hatred against backward communities in fact it should be redacted those offensive paragraphs Udayanidhi Stalin Tamil Nadu minister said Sanatana Dharma is like dengue and malaria and must be eradicated Asaduddin Owaisi AIM's chief said structure and gyan vapi vazu khana is a fountain not a shivling Saket Gokhale TMC MP he said inaction by Delhi police over firecrackers a major dereliction of duty Mamta Banerjee West Bengal chief minister said Jai Shri Ram is a BJP slogan weaponized to spread hatred viewers the list is long the list is long the question however is short The question is the following: Is the opposition trivializing Hindu belief customs in isolation? Very simple, viewers. Let's ask this question. Let's put it out for debate. Remember, viewers, in 48 hours, the first vote will be cast, and I and I want to begin first with uh, Dr. Anand Ranganathan. Dr. Ranganathan, look, uh, you know the usual. the usual bile is flowing forth now is there justification for this is there really a pakhand that is going on in the name of ram uh good evening rahul look a lot of bile is flowing but a lot of amrit is also flowing so it's best to concentrate on that fact because the bile may flow out of hate or ignorance you cannot stop it some people will never realize why civilizations are not fleeting like empires to demand justice for a people who are dead for hundreds of years it is almost as though you can feel their pain their suffering their destruction that has transcended the limits of body and time and that is why i said history is a medicine why catharsis is a cure and when i see today the rights of our ancestors being reclaimed i see this as a catharsis as a deliverance of justice to my ancestors who were wrong and i said history is a medicine well there has been a very bitter medicine for the hindus rahul our leaders feared the consecration of somnath would herald hindu revivalism and we stayed silent our leaders gave away the most sacred krishna janamsthan fraudulently to the predatory eidga side and we stayed silent our leaders promulgated the evil places of worship act to deny us our legitimate right to reclaim our temples and we stayed silent our leaders loved babar more than ram let me tell you of babar in nehru's words quote babar was one of the most cultured and delightful persons one could meet he did not destroy as his ancestors did he was a gallant knight there was no sectarianism in babar no religious bigotry unquote this is from nehru's glimpses of world history and now let me tell you of babar in babar's words quote i was a wanderer for the sake of islam and i battled infidels and hindus determined to become a martyr but thanks to allah i became a ghazi 
Ghazi means killer of infidels. This is from Babar Nama, Babar's own words. And is it any surprise then that Babar's tomb was visited by Nehru in 1959, by Indira in 1968, by Rajiv in 1976, by Rahul in 2005, and none of them, none of them ever visited Ram Janamsthan. 500 years, 20 generations before us, Rahul, were forced to see the Babri Masjid instead of the Ram Temple. The 21st generation is seeing the Ram Temple instead of Babri Masjid. And that is why these people are annoyed. That is why the bile is flowing. But I'll tell you, let's ignore it. Because while some advance to greatness, others return to it. And we Indians, we do both. Burn. Okay. Dr. Raman, let me bring you in. BJP national spokesperson is also there with us, Sanju Varma. And of course, uh, there is Monojit Mondol who also questions the BJP on issues such as this. So, let me bring you in first, uh, Dr. Raman. Can you explain on what basis is this Surya Tilak ceremony hailed by the Prime Minister a pakhand or a pretense on part of the BJP to further its own political ambitions? Um, Rahul, uh, first of all, let me start by saying I have just come to the show after attending a puja for Ram Nami. I am a very devout Hindu and as devout a Hindu, I don't need certificates from anybody on my Hindu identity. The point really is that, uh, you know, this tilak, the rays of the sun falling on a particular, um, you know, deity, uh, is literally thousands of years old. I can show you at least half a dozen temples in Tamil Nadu where this architecture, uh, marvel, where on specific days of the year, the rays of the sun fall on the idol is something which we have seen for, uh, you know, uh, at least 500, 600 years. There are many temples where, uh, um, you know, it is already there. So I don't, uh, you know, see this as some kind of a, a unique feature at uh, Ayodhya, it is there in several temples around the country. Now, the point really is, clearly there is an election. The hope was that the Ram Mandir would be a major uh, political issue across the country and the fact that the, uh, the Pran Pratishta ceremony has been held would be a big vote catcher. Uh, at this point of time, outside maybe Uttar Pradesh, that does not seem to be uh, the case. Or certainly outside the Hindi belt, it doesn't seem to be the case. So, maybe there was a need to sort of look at the end of the day, this, the, the issue of Hindu-Muslim or Hindus versus, as uh, uh, Dr. Lagaradhan brought in Babur and so on. It is sad that 10 years, after 10 years in power, we are still going and fighting an election on the Hindu-Muslim issue. It is extremely unfortunate. Fought on everything else. It should be fought on unemployment, it should be fought on inflation, it should be fought on, fought on development issues and so on. And here we are talking about, uh, uh, you know, uh, whether the opposition is not Hindu enough and whether they hate Hindus. I mean, this dialogue is running thin. And people, at least in southern part of India, have had enough of this dialogue, which is what you will possibly see on the June on, on the 4th of June. I don't know how people in the north are still, um, whether they are receptive to it or not. But as far as people in southern India are concerned, this script has worn thin. We are deeply devout religious Hindus. The place for our religion is a personal space. It okay. is inside our home and it is inside our mandir. If you That's are devout, if you are devout, do, do you, if you are very quickly, if you are devout uh, Dr. Raman, as you are, I'm, I, and I am not trying to in any way confer a certificate or ask you here to prove your worthiness to the cause, etc. I just want to ask you, do you believe the DMK that has used certain expressions which the Supreme Court has called out, was I it doing, well, one second sir, was it doing a service to your beliefs, Dr. Raman, number one, number two, and would you being a devout Hindu, Vote, want to vote for the DMK that is talking about issues which also yeah. quite frankly belong to a past and perhaps have worn thin. Look, Rahul, I have been taking on the DMK on this issue ever since I was in college. Will you vote right? for them? Ever since I started my television career, I have been taking on the DMK yeah. for their consistently and persistently anti Hindu okay. stance. That, that is a different issue. Oh, different from issue. The 
Yes, because oh, I see. Because because yeah, the across yeah. the country. So, so it's a different issue, move. viewers. In the south, you it can abuse. You can Isn't abuse it? the Sanatan no, Dharma. No, according no, no. To I Dr. said my Amar. opposition. Huh? No, I did not say that. Huh. When did I say that? Please don't put words into my mouth. I never <laughs> said you can abuse. I said the DMK has been doing it for 50 no, years. No, will you continue to vote for the DMK? Will you vote for the DMK? No, no. Whether I, I cannot tell you who I will vote okay. for. Okay. Do you think people? Really, do you no, think no, the? Second. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think? Devoted Hindus in the south, therefore, should vote for the DMK. Would look, would would hang on. Would own, believing Muslims vote own. for a, another Muslim who comes around and no, no. says awful things about their faith? One second. Right now, every opinion poll, yeah. including whatever you no, have, I'm, I'm asking you a question. The Forget these opinion are polls. People voting for the DMK. Uh, uh, no, people are on. voting for the DMK. Okay. So, are you suggesting? Right? Are you suggesting that in the south you can continually because attack the religion and people don't care? Nobody attacks okay. outside Tamil Nadu. It is only a culture which is okay. unique. Doctor Ranganathan has raised part. his hand since you. Since, well, I'll just bring you in, Sanjay. Just one second. Uh, Doctor Ranganathan wants to rebut. Yes. Now I have tremendous respect for Doctor Raman. He knows it, and he has made some very sensible points. But on one point, I'd like to rebut him because he says, "I wish this election, uh, oncoming election, was fought not on Ram Mandir but on inflation." on growth on unemployment well i want to ask him uh, i hope he doesn't interrupt me but i would like his answer to my rebuttal of his what do you want the opposition to do to fight on inflation that is the lowest 4.9 percent the the opposition slogan should be raise the inflation we protest what do you want the hmm. opposition to say yeah. that why is the unemployment lowest 3.1 percent what do you want the opposition to say that why is the forex 650 billion why is the GDP 8.4 billion this quarter? 8.4 percent. What do you want the can opposition I, to I say? How on earth? How on earth has Modi pulled out 250 million people from abject poverty? Is this the reason? What do you want the opposition to say, Doctor Raman? That unemployment. No, no, sir. I, I only want to know. No, no. I, I'll just say something. If one second, yes, 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 I'll bring you. People have been pulled out of poverty. Yes. Okay. Okay. One second. Why do eighty? Why do eighty crore people yeah. require three right. rations for five more years? I'm bringing you in, Sanjay. Let him poverty. finish. We are not running away. We have got time. Why are you getting irritated? I just said I want to come in. I know. I'm just bringing you in. I'm only saying. Please don't get upset. I'm only saying. I'm bringing you in. Give me. Give me thirty seconds. Yes. Okay. One second. One second. Doctor. Doctor. One second. One second. Yes. So we must go back to an issue that Ambedkar said. In fact, by 1958, should have run its course, which is caste census. We should go back to those issues. Because they suit a particular narrative. No, one second, one second, one second. We should also go back. Given on the one second, one that, second. No, no, Doctor Raman, Doctor Raman, Doctor Raman, please. Doctor Raman, please. Let me, let me just finish. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. Besides just pointing out some obvious inconsistencies in some of the responses. Anyhow, Doctor, uh, sorry, Sanju Varma, Sanju Varma, you want to come Thank in? You. Yes, please go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Focus on real Thank issues, you. he says. <laughs> Thank you, Rahul. Uh, and you know, uh, on a lighter note, I don't need Mr. Suman C. Raman to ask me to calm down. I exactly know what I'm talking. I think, uh, you know, Mr. Ranganathan made some very pertinent points and taking off from what he said. You know, first, let me just bust this entire narrative that, you know, ye Surya Tilak ceremony, celebration of Ram Navmi with pomp and gaiety, this is to digress and deflect from the core issues which are bothering the commoner in the country. I think that is a whole lot of Goldadash because the core issues are exactly what have been addressed in the last 10 years of the Modi dispensation. And very quickly, in 30 seconds or less, more than 11 crore toilets under the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, more than 4 crore houses under PM Awaz Yojana, more than 33 crore Ayushman cards handed out for free health insurance, more than 43 crore loan applications processed under the Mudra Yojana, more than 35 crore uh, insurance applications processed under the PM Fasal Bima Yojana, more than 4 crore soil health cards given to our farmers, 3 lakh crore deposited in the accounts of more than 11 crore farmers in the last couple of years. One unicorn opened every 9 days in 2022. One unicorn opened every 29 days in 2021. One college opened every 2 days. One university opened every 1 week. One IIT or IIM or both 
every year and more importantly from 74 airports now you have 149 functional airports vis-a-vis 21000 kilometers of rail line which was electrified now you have 64000 kilometers of rail lines which are electrified so please don't sit here and give bhashan that the bjp has done nothing and not only march inflation at 4.85% core inflation is the lowest at 3.1% fuel inflation is negative at minus 1.69% and gst average collection has been 1.65 lakh crore in the last financial year despite the fact that average gst rates have come down from pre gst era of 18% to now between 12 to 12 and a half percent isliye apna bhashan on core issues ye to apne paas rakhiye now coming to the more important point i think rahul you gave a brilliant introduction of what xyz has said you know beat uh, former rjd minister chandrashekar to saket gokhale to mamta banerjee but what caught my attention today was a statement by the samajwadi party member of parliament ram gopal yadav and akhilesh yadav's uncle what did he say he said in hindi ye ram navmi koi bjp ki bakoti nahi hai मैं भी भगवान की अर्चना करता हूं पूजा पाठ करता हूं पर ये राम नवमी मनाने की इतने शोर शराबे से जरूरत क्या है तो मिस्टर राम गोपाल यादव ये आपकी बपौती है कि नहीं आई डोंट नो बट थ्रू राहुल शिवशंकर शो आई वॉन्ट टू से इफ यू डोंट लाइक इट टू बैड फॉर यू राम नवमी हिंदुओं की बपौती है और बीजेपी के बपौती इसलिए है बिकॉज इट इज ओनली इन द लास्ट टेन इयर्स दैट जय श्री राम इज कोशर दस साल पहले सेंट जय श्री राम पीपल वॉज केयर टू वेयर सफरल स्पोर्ट अतिरिक्त वेयर रुद्राक्ष और इवन से जय श्री राम थैंक्स टू नरेंद्र मोदी हिंदू कैन से इट विथ प्राइड जय श्री राम एंड हैप्पी राम नवमी टू ऑल एंटी मोदी एंड एंटी राम नेसेयर्स हु आर वाचिंग दिस शो वेल लेट मी टेल यू व्यूअर्स लेट्स बी let's be quite honest about it ram is an issue why are we why are we sweeping him one second doctor i mean why are we no, no, sweeping no i mean which country is one she second. talking about one second one I've second i've been wearing i i used to i yeah yeah okay okay this is not about you it's not about you why are we sweeping one, one second one second let me let me let me bring in professor mondol it's okay sir dot protest too much one minute one minute let me let me bring in let me bring in uh, professor mondo look why are we sweeping ram under the carpet it is an issue monojit mandal ram mandir is an important issue may not be for the but to 1.3 to 1.7 lakh devotees who visit daily to offer oblations to ram lalla it is an issue the fact that we have a mandir and they don't only come from the north they also come from the south they come from the east they come from the west they come from your state also of west bengal and possibly more might have shown up today on ram navami on a day when mamta is talking about how these devotees are prime to riot has there been any riot anywhere this fear mongering about hindus who have become you know crazed by lord ram who have been radicalized how come this doesn't strike you when we talk yeah, I, about sheik shah jahan and company yeah, I, I, I and, and i want to ask you professor mondol can i ask you this i mean do you support what ram this uh, yeah. this gopal verma ram gopal yadav sorry has said at the same time what what are the mood questions i'm asking you asking? i'm asking you ram Let's gopal speak. ram gopal yadav says that look Who's i am not a, i am not a pakhandi i'm asking you since you have Tell shared me. since you have shared a stage with akhilesh since your lady a uh, chief minister and your uh, your boss mamta banerji has decided to even support the samajwadi party in parts of uttar pradesh i am asking you no no when you no no you, one second you when you asking, when you one listen to me asking, when you go without observing i am asking you a simple straightforward question listen to my question you need to stop somewhere my dear friend no no you take a position don't get irritated by the question i am asking you i am asking you if you are so devout if you are so devout what are you asking i am asking you if you listen to me do you underscore ram gopal yadav the samajwadi party leader statement today do you support it why should i 
Why should I speak for uh, Samaj Bandi Party leader statement? So then let me do ask you. Do you speak for Do you speak for uh, the the other other uh, channels? I anchor. Let me ask. In jail. Let me ask. Do you, you speak for that? Why should I speak for? Let uh, me uh, ask, Ram Gopal Mr. Jad? Mondo. Let me you ask. Ask relevant questions about. Because they are a part of your India the alliance. alliance. They are part of your India alliance. I don't have any alliances. They are part of your India alliance. Take a position tonight. You take a position. Take a position, hey, Monojit Mondol. Take a position, Mr. Modi. Mr. Modi abused Mr. Nitish Kumar one year back. Take a position. He had a, he had a, he had a, he had a party a with Mr. Nitish Kumar two days back. I'm taking a position. You also take a position. Not viewers. Why did Mr. Modi and Sir abuse Mr. Nitish Kumar six months back, and now they are laughing up, laughing up? Because all you politicians are, are because all you politicians are opportunists. Yes. Yes, including can Mr. you Modi can you today no can you say Mr. yes Mr. yes Modi everybody is an opportunist yes, in politics but I am asking you a question I am asking you a question Professor yes, Monojit yes, Mondol you yes, take a position you take a position yes, and you tell me yes, if you believe if you believe okay viewers that much I can tell you Professor Monojit Mondol is pretending that he can't understand my question the fact is he doesn't want to take a position no 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 this is this is the depth this is the depth of question. his this is the depth of his question. devotion of i'm asking you a question simple simple As do you support you ram gopal yadav statement saying that the entire celebration of surya tilak is a pakhand being enacted by mr modi because he is your alliance partner because he is your alliance partner yes or no it is your your okay. your your favorite prerogative to go out of jurisdiction. I own okay. my jurisdiction. Okay, okay, viewers. I know my jurisdiction. Viewers, viewers. The day Mamta Banerjee so says that she is not an ally of Akhilesh Yadav, I am not going out of my jurisdiction. I'm very well within my jurisdiction. And note the consistency with which these various constituents of the, the india alliance with do not ever I think do not ever now. excuse me By do the not convoluted questions that professor whether it's the congress or the tmc your allies go out there they run we down hindus and you do not ever stand up congress in bengal you please correct your fire you don't have you an have alliance you don't have an alliance with the samajwadi party bengal. You, you don't have an alliance with the Samajwadi Party. Of the fact you, you, that your chief minister, your leader. What a liar, Professor Mandol. Why are you misleading? Why are you misleading the public? Also, thanks to the Honorable High Court. Why are you misleading the public? They did not allow these BJP goons to come up with guns and swords. Okay, filibuster, 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 Professor Mandol. Now listen to this, viewers. We can lower his fader because he'll just natter on and on because he's not prepared to listen because we've cornered him, viewers. In that little box of his, we've cornered him. And I'll tell you how we've cornered him. Because the Samajwadi Party <laughs> and the TMC are in alliance. In fact, Mamta Banerjee has said that all her cadre, whatever it is in Uttar Pradesh, will support Akhilesh Yadav. She's on record. And she and this gentleman, Professor Mondol, cannot bring himself today to criticize the Samajwadi party for trivializing Hindu belief systems. And I just want to think, make you think about it, viewers. Can you explain, and this is a question that I think we should now ask more often. If Modi's decision to pay obeisance today is a pakhand, is a pretense, when these leaders go without observing Rosa to iftar parties, what is that? It's a simple question. What is that? They will go, they will, they will go, they will wear the topi, they will go there, they will eat all the food, etc, etc. Have they observed the rosa? No, viewers. What is that? That is posturing. That is vote bank posturing. Yes, Dr. Ranganathan, you want to make a point quickly? Make it. Yes. Yes. And you know, this canard has to be exposed as everyone who basically doesn't fight for Hindu rights, devout or civilizational, always ends up saying that, oh, look, I am a devout Hindu. From uh, Rahul Gandhi saying, I'm a Janehudhari Bahman, a temple run and all that, to my good friend Dr. Raman also saying, telling everyone that, look, he's been a devout Hindu. So let me ask a very simple question, yes and no question, to the, all the devout Hindus. If you are a devout Hindu, can you please tell me, do you want the Krishna Janamsthan, do you want the Gyan Vyapi to be given to Hindus, yes or no? Dr. Raman, would you like to answer? Very simple. Whatever the courts decide, will be done. It is not something 
for us to take a call right. on because oh, going back into history seconds. yeah 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 no 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 i think it is very clear okay professor mondol professor mondol being a being a religious hindu decides. tell hindu tell us would you like the gyanwapi and the krishna janamsthan <laughs> to be reverted back to the hindu community what kind of a question is this this will be okay. decided in the court of law viewers Rahul, luckily Everyone the director has said time up 30 seconds Everyone sanju varma 30 seconds thank you rahul rahul i just want to say one thing you know people who believe in jesus christ they want to visit bethlehem which is where he was born people who believe in islam you know zindagi mein ek baar we have to visit mecca because this is where prophet muhammad stayed and lived for the first 53 years of his life people who believe in buddhism they want to visit lumbini in present day nepal people who be believe in mahavir uh, jain uh, you know the uh, people who believe in jainism they want to visit kundal pura in yes. present day nepal so why should people, people who believe, who believe in hinduism yes. should not we move viewers what a beautiful moment you are getting to witness an awe inspiring spectacle absolutely breathtaking this is the surya tilak the highlight of today's celebrations it's an amazing sight to see the rays of the sunlight kissing the forehead of lord ram touching his forehead so delicately just take a look at this this is just absolutely an amazing sight to watch in fact ram nami this year indeed does hold significance uh, a lot of special significance for ayodhya and thousands and lakhs of devotees worldwide as it marks the first celebration of lord ram's birth at the newly inaugurated ram mandir and what a sight to watch uh, to see the rays of the sun kissing and touching the forehead of lord ram this is an unreal moment in fact a celestial moment and scientists ensuring uh, that this is done with utmost grandeur in fact the ram mandir in ayodhya is set for the surya tilak everyone who is gathered there today in ayodhya had been waiting uh, for this very very precious moment just take a look at how the rays of the sun falling exactly at the forehead of ram mandir a lot of work has been done to ensure uh, that this is done with utmost precision and grandeur the uh, the pandits doing the aarti 25 lakh devotees have gathered for the celestial event it is absolutely fascinating this is the first time ram navmi is happening since the consecration of the ram idol uh, the sun rays falling on the forehead of ram lalla in ayodhya and what a moment especially for those uh, lakhs of devotees who have gathered to watch this once in a lifetime event it's absolutely beautiful uh, we are getting to see the rays of the sun falling on the forehead of ram lalla this is called the surya tilak uh, of the deity it is it has been made possible with really elaborate uh, techniques and mechanisms uh, it involves mirrors and lenses so everything has been done to ensure that this uh, is Uh, possible with utmost precision and we just were witness to this absolutely awe inspiring spectacle when the rays of the sun touch the forehead of ram lalla i think it's done now and uh, we are still seeing a little dot if i'm not mistaken we can still see the dot of the uh, sun on the forehead of ram lalla devotees across the world in fact are celebrating ram navmi today the birth of lord ram one of the most revered deities Uh, in hinduism and as we speak as we're getting you these live images we just got to witness that beautiful that beautiful moment when the rays of the sun fell on the forehead of ram lalla and as i just mentioned uh, this is a scientific way of ensuring that the rays of the sun actually falls on the forehead of lord ram just take a look at the visuals there and lakhs of devotees who Viewers, I always ask the most straightforward question, and therefore, 
I will do so again tonight. Is Rahul Gandhi two-timing the voters of Vayanad in Kerala? Two-timing viewers. His opponents, including his ally in the left, seem to think so. They have alleged that Rahul Gandhi isn't fully committed to his constituency Vayanad in Kerala. That he uses Vayanad as a safe seat, as some sort of a step knee, a stepping stone to serve only his personal interest of getting re-elected to the Lok Sabha. Had he not leaned back on Vayanad in 2019, he wouldn't have made it to the Lok Sabha because he was of course routed by Smriti Irani. In Amethi viewers, the Gandhi bastion. But his opponents, who happens to be a member of the left and of course the BJP, they say that Vayanad deserves better, a local candidate invested in its future. In fact, they say if Rahul is truly confident of defeating the BJP, then he should walk the talk by contesting from Amethi, not Vayanad. That's what the left has been saying, Rahul Gandhi's closest ally. In fact, the left has fielded a candidate called Annie Raja from Vayanad. And she has said that go back to Amethi, the family bastion that you lost to the Saffron Party, if you believe that Modi has done nothing. If you believe that the BJP is losing, if you believe that the BJP is only getting, as you yourself have said, she said, and others are saying today to Rahul Gandhi, between 180 or even less seats, then prove it by defeating Smriti Irani from Amethi. And therefore, viewers, on the back of all these questions, any journalist worth his or her salt would also ask Rahul Gandhi if and when will he contest from Amethi, just like he did last time. But Gandhi doesn't think this is a legitimate question to be asked of him. This is what he said today when he was asked, viewers. तो गुजरात छोड़कर पीएम बनने के लिए बनारस आते हैं आप बाय नाइट चले गए तो क्या अमेठी या रायबरेली से आप ये ये बीजेपी वाला क्वेश्चन है पहले ओपनिंग ओपनिंग बॉल ओपनिंग बॉल बीजेपी क्वेश्चन वेरी गुड शाबाश देखिए अमेठी की बात कांग्रेस का डिसीजन है जो भी मुझे ऑर्डर मिलेगा मैं वो करूंगा सीसी मीटिंग हमारे हमारी पार्टी में सीसी मीटिंग्स में ये डिसीजन लिए जाते हैं बट पहला बीजेपी का क्वेश्चन गुड क्वेश्चन थैंक यू व्यूअर्स राहुल गांधी सीम्स टू हैव फॉरगॉटन दैट एनी राजा ऑफ द सीपीआई हु इज नॉट इन द बीजेपी इज आस्किंग द सेम क्वेश्चन व्हाट वुड ही से टू हर व्यूअर्स द बेसिक क्वेश्चन इज व्हाई इज ही रियली डकिंग he can't take a position on it today. You know why, viewers? Because Congress sources have told your channel that the party is likely to announce his candidature after polls in Vayanad. That there's consensus among high command about the optical criticality of Rahul fighting from Amethi. Rahul has a window of 15 days to file a nomination before Amethi votes in phase 5. Vayanad will wait, will vote uh, uh, viewers by, I think, phase 2. And then, of course, Rahul Gandhi will step out and say, look, uh, I'm also going to contest from Amethi. The Amethi announcement has been delayed to allay Vayanad voters' fears that they aren't a priority. That's what we are being told. Viewers, this, this, is, this is actually a form of hedging your bets and it doesn't bode well for the voters of Vayana if this is exactly how it's going to play out that is otherwise what's the problem Rahul Gandhi would say no actually I'm committed to Vayana I'm standing from Vayana that is my karma bhumi from now on yes I lost a Methi I'm not likely to regain it or what have you or someone else will contest in fact in one of the scenarios it even could be Robert Vadra he's been putting his hand up like an eager schoolboy in the front row of a class trying to answer a question he said I'm ready mujhe de do seat anyhow let's open this up viewers it's a very interesting conversation to have with our panelists this evening let me let me open this up let's go straight across to um, our uh, panelists and I just want to I just want to ask I just want to ask Sanju Varma 
how do you react to this BJP question? I mean, it is a mischievous question because it will expose him in the face of the Vyanad voter. Did you actually prompt that journalist? I mean, not you personally, <laughs> but your party, the BJP. Did you sort of send him a chit? Did you prep him? And then you say, ask this opening question. You know, Rahul, before answering your question, I have to say your Hindi has become more impressive with each passing day. And the only thing that competes with it is your cutting edge sarcasm, which I'm really scared of. <laughs> but be that as it may, on a more serious note, I have this to say. You know, people who say, Are Rahul Gandhi, why not say Zarur Jeetenge, you know, Zabardas Kam Kya hai. I will come to a making in 20 seconds. I want to bust that narrative. Rahul Gandhi's attendance as a parliamentarian from Vainar is 51% vis-a-vis -vis the national average at 79% and vis-a-vis -vis the state average of parliamentarians from Kerala, their average is 83%. So, pehli baat to Rahul Gandhi has underperformed, be it vis-a-vis -vis the national average or vis-a-vis -vis his other peers from Kerala. My second point, this man keeps blabbering about Vainar. Do you know something? There are members of parliament from BJP, Samajwadi Party, Congress, koi so question poochta hai in their five-year tenure. Somebody's asked 200 questions. There are people who've even asked more than 400 starred questions. It is the starred questions which count uh, within the floor of parliament. I was shocked. Rahul Gandhi, in the last five years, as a Vyanar MP, has asked only 27 starred questions, of which... Only seven star questions pertain to his constituency, that is Vainar, which means only 26% of the star questions that he asked actually pertain to Vainar. And then this man, Johnny Kamle, claims to be Vainar ka karta dharta. But most importantly, this under the long and incompetent nose of Rahul Gandhi, the rubber farms, the rubber industries, small and medium industries in Vainar have gone from penury to bankruptcy. Ask that Rahul Gandhi, who has an opinion on everything okay. under the sun, I want to ask him, what about the cooperative sector in Vainar, which was flourishing till about five years back? How is it that today it is tethering on the verge of bankruptcy? What about the rubber industry in Vainar, okay. which today has been forced into penury? But most importantly, I want to say this to Rahul Gandhi. Hey, just 20 seconds. Ask Smriti Rani ke saath, kaise compete karoge? In the last five years, 3.5 lakh water connections in Amethi alone, 1.5 lakh electricity connections in Amethi alone, 78,000 uh, lakh worth of loan in disbursements to every single MSME. Okay. And we are yes. talking here of 1 lakh MSMEs, 4.2 lakh toilets in Amethi alone, and 1.7 lakh crore worth of roads pro okay. road projects implemented in Uttar well. Pradesh with Amethi being the biggest beneficiary of this. Uh, Pradhan Mantri, uh, you know, uh, Sarat Yojana program. Okay. So how do you well, compete with... Well, well, let me, let me, let me just, let me, let me, look, I mean, yes, we can dissect Rahul Gandhi's performance in Vainar. The question today is that should Rahul Gandhi, Dr. Ranganathan, be dithering? Should he be evasive on whether he wants to contest from Amethi? Why is he ducking it? There is a reason for this, but before that, Rahul, you need to understand that the Congress is special. Rome wasn't built in a day. So it follows that neither was this sense of entitlement of the Romans. Let me illustrate the damage with just one example. Here are the last census indices of Amethi and Raibareli, 2011. The Nehru Gandhi dynasty bastions for 60 to 65 years. People below poverty line, 54%. Households with electricity, 14%. Vaccinated children, 16%. Neonatal deaths, 83 per thousand. This is what the dynasty reduced Amethi and Rai Bareilly to for 60 years. So let it be known that if Congress lies in tatters, it is because of Rahul Gandhi. Why would he go back to Amethi? Because as long as you have a party where a man in his 50s is still called the youth leader, where he can preside over one electoral defeat after another but is still evolving, where he can lie on an industrial scale, but remains the beacon of truth. Where his compatriots are more meritorious, but they will never upstage him. Where he toils for an hour amid the poor and then takes a week's vacation to recover. Where every morning he wakes up at night. As long as you have, you will always have moral victories instead of the real ones. Okay, <laughs> let me bring in Mr. Bansal. Mr. Bansal, why this chariness about telling the world? 
Annie Raja wants to know she is not a BJP member. She is asking, please go to Amethi, contest from there. You want to defeat uh, Modi. Modi has done nothing. You keep saying Modi is a flop. Modi has given no jobs. Inflation is high. Unemployment is high. There are unemployed people, I am sure, also in Amethi who probably feel the same way. They have the anger. Why doesn't he channel that anger? Win that seat back. Prove a point to Modi. Defeat him in Uttar Pradesh, where the where the BJP reigns supreme. It's its biggest and strongest bastion today. Over 10 years, Mr. Bansal. First of all, let me just ask you, whosoever is putting this question or whosoever is asking uh, that he should go to Amethi and all, that is a decision taken by the FS body of the party, that is the CCN. And Rahul, Mr. Rahul Gandhi has contested from Vayanath. So, I think uh, being uh, steadfastly standing with the people of Vayanath, uh, what is wrong with it? What is, I think... Can I ask you a question, sir? Part? Mr. Bansal, yes. do you believe that Rahul Gandhi should contest from Amethi? Or should he give it up, the Gandhi bastion? It's not a question of contesting or uh, giving it up. It's a question that what, what decision the uh, PEC or the CWC takes. No, I'm asking you, sir. You are a Congress leader. You, you are a Congress leader. I was reading an article just yesterday in the newspapers. It was on the front page. A large number of Amethi workers of the Congress are saying, time is running out. Gone are the days when you could take us for granted. Tell us. These are workers of the Congress in a newspaper that you only read. And it is called the Indian Express. You guys don't read other papers, it's fine. But the Indian Express front page, did you not see that report? No, no, that they may be having that definitely the Congress people, definitely that they must be wanting. Do you so, want? Uh, do you want or do you, do you say it's okay? We will fight from the south. It is not that it is falling on deaf ears, party is taking cognizance of no, this. No, I am asking you, Bansal Sahib, you are a senior leader of the Congress party, you have a voice. Tell me, what is your own conscience telling you? Should Rahul Gandhi contest from Amethi? Definitely, we have the issue. See, it is, it is we are here to see things uh, uh, from the point of view of the Congress party. It is not that we are here to contest from Amethi. It is not that we are here to contest from Amethi. Definitely, we want it. Either it's, uh, any stand of the Gandhi family, either perhaps... Uh, no, no, I am talking about Rahul Gandhi. Where is the other scion? There is no other scion. That is Vadra. Uh, anybody from Gandhi family should come there and should contest. There is only so one Gandhi and that is Rahul Gandhi. I am asking you, sir, which is the anybody? What is this anybody business? Who is the other anybody? Who is the other Gandhi? See, why, why don't, why, we have a wider choice, but Priyanka, Madam Priyanka Ji is also there. No, but Priyanka yeah. Ji calls herself a Vadra. She has ticked off a large number of people saying that, listen, what? do not call me Priyanka Gandhi. I am Priyanka Gandhi Vadra. I am a Vadra. So, stop what? this. I'm asking you, you said a Gandhi sign, so I'm asking you. This is not expected from you that you are talking that she is having a surname Vadra. She is having a surname Gandhi as well. It's a, it's a, it's sir, she a, herself, a, anyhow, she herself uh, has... Uh, sir, she, she has a, a right to... Doesn't she have a right, sir, to describe herself with the right pronouns? Or do you Vardra think that is also something that we need to now... Gandhi as well. Gandhi as well. Okay, so I'm asking you, what is holding Priyanka Gandhi back from contesting? Forget the Vadra part. Priyanka Gandhi ji, why is it she not announcing her name from Amethi? There are certain aesthetic moves. There are certain aesthetic moves. Okay, viewers, listen to this. Listen to this. A few days ago, the Congress was livid. They said, look at the BJP. It has not still brought out its manifesto. We are out there. We don't take our voters for granted. We've told the voters what exactly we stand for. Where is the BJP manifesto? BJP manifesto, BJP manifesto. Then the Prime Minister came out on a Saturday or a Sunday. It was in the morning at 8 o'clock, presented the manifesto. But viewers, the same Congress has no problems, no compunctions about not announcing a candidate. It's one of the only seats where the Congress has not announced a candidate. They've been so quick off the block in every other seat across India. Why? Dr. Ranganathan and Sanju Verma both want to get in. Sanju Verma first, since you raised the finger first. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Rahul, you know, uh, I'm reminded of this very famous saying by William Shakespeare. He which hath no stomach to fight, let him depart. 
his passport shall be made and crowns for convoy put into his purse basically in politics if you don't have the stomach for a fight then you shouldn't even be there you know irrespective of what the outcome of amethi will be in 2024 look at the vacillating nature of rahul gandhi well, is- and i'm not surprised because you know this man has a strike rate of 92% not success strike rate but a loss strike rate having lost 54 out of the 59 big and small elections which the congress has uh, fought under his mentorship and tutelage so what i'm trying to say here is the ladki who lad sakti who campaign failed miserably with the congress reduced to to a, a 2.35 percent vote share in up 2022 assembly polls with only two seats and remember in lok sabha 2019 they got only one seat from the lok sabha that was rai bareilly mother has abandoned rai bareilly son seems to be in the mood to abandon amethi well. and son in law seems to be wanting desperately to step into someone's shoes ab aage dekhenge kya hota hai dr ranganathan <laughs> uh, uh, look uh, rahul i can expect your name say rahul to be confused i can expect his inner coterie to be confused how on earth can the entire congress party be confused and i'll illustrate this with an example i have tremendous respect for mr bansal he is one of the most erudite uh, no no they are not confused on this issue they diffused <laughs> that is why that is why they are calling this the bjp question and that question that's the problem yeah, but- Yeah, but you know, I, I through uh, through you, I want to ask him because, as I say, and he knows it. I have tremendous respect for Mr. Bansal. He shoots from the hip straight up. So, you know, for it's been a month since the Congress manifesto came out, or three weeks or something. I want to ask him a straight point blank question, and I know him. He is absolutely shooting from the hip. He is honest person. He if he answers me in one or two words, I will campaign for Congress for this election, not only vote for it. Mr Bansal it's been a month Rahul Gandhi has promised two things one 1 lakh rupees deposit in every account of a woman of every woman belonging to a poor family and msp guarantee for all 23 crops can you please tell me in two words what is the total cost to the exchequer of these two promises if you tell me in two words i promise i'll get up i will start campaigning for congress open challenge That has been worked out by the executive. So whoever is that has been very well homework has been done for that. And if whatever the Congress, you know, earlier also whatever. But if they don't know who their campaigner is in uh, Rai Bareilly and Amethi, how are they going to tell you who has worked it out? Dr. Ranganathan, you are also asking questions that are, you know, out of the syllabus. This is not fair. This is terrible. I mean, they can't make up their mind about picking one person. I just want to ask you, Mr. Bansal, there are two seats actually. one sonia gandhi ji seat and a poor lady has given it up because she is you know she is obviously uh, ill health so who will fight from that see that's also gandhi bastion and then there's amethi which is the other gandhi bastion now there are only two gandhis you have said that it must be a gandhi sign so one is priyanka and one is rahul which one are they going to contest on ab to do hi hain and there's two for two Are we supposed to, you know, let the bridge uh, and let, let, let the river come? Let the bridge come. Let the bridge come. The process. river, <laughs> sir, the river is in spate. In two days, you have the first four, first phase, hundred and two seats. We are making, we are making new preparations for that. And let the time come. We'll open our cards. Okay, so let me ask you very simply, Mr. Bansal. Uh, since you know i because dr ranganathan said that you will be shooting from the hips and i don't know if you can tell the truth from a hip but you can certainly tell the truth from a lip so let me ask you mr bansal and let me ask you a straight pointed question please tonight can i ask you a question bansal ji bansal ji can i ask you a question do you believe that this is a bjp question ye to aap jawab de sakte hain anyhow viewers look i i i just want to say that that there is at the heart of this at the heart of this a problem and i will let you work this problem out i've already told you what the issue is the issue is prevarication why is this prevarication please work it out i'll take a short break go 
powered by Viewers, what a beautiful moment you are getting to witness an awe-inspiring spectacle, absolutely breathtaking. This is the Surya Tilak, the highlight of today's celebrations. It's an absolutely amazing sight to see the rays of the sunlight kissing the forehead of Lord Ram, touching his forehead so delicately. Just take a look at this. This is just absolutely an amazing sight to watch. In fact, Ram Nami this year indeed does hold significance, uh, a lot of special significance for Ayodhya and thousands and lakhs of devotees worldwide as it marks the first celebration of Lord Ram's birth at the newly inaugurated Ram Mandir and what a sight to watch uh, to see the rays of the sun kissing and touching the forehead of Lord Ram. This is an unreal moment in fact a celestial moment and scientists ensuring uh, that this is done with utmost grandeur. In fact, the Ram Mandir in Ayodhya is set for the Surya Tilak. Everyone who is gathered there today in Ayodhya had been waiting uh, for this very, very precious moment. Just take a look at how the rays of the sun falling exactly at the forehead of Ram Mandir. A lot of work has been done to ensure uh, that this is done with utmost precision and grandeur. The, uh, the pundits doing the Aarti, 25 lakh devotees have gathered for this celestial event. It is absolutely fascinating. This is the first time Ram Nami is happening since the consecration of the Ram idol. Uh, the sun rays falling on the forehead of Ram Lalla in Ayodhya and what a moment especially for those uh, lakhs of devotees who have gathered to watch this once in a lifetime event. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, we are getting to see the rays of the sun falling on the forehead of Ram Lalla. This is called the Surya Tilak uh, of the deity. It is. It has been made possible with really elaborate uh, techniques and mechanisms. Uh, it involves mirrors and lenses. So everything has been done to ensure that this uh, is uh, possible with utmost precision. And we just were witness to this absolutely awe-inspiring spectacle when the rays of the sun touch the forehead of Ram Lalla. I think it's done now and uh, we are still seeing a little dot if I'm not mistaken. We can still see the dot of the uh, sun on the forehead of Ram Lalla. Devotees across the world in fact are celebrating Ram Naomi today, the birth of Lord Ram, one of the most revered deities uh, in Hinduism. And as we speak, as we're getting you these live images, we just got to witness that beautiful, that beautiful moment when the rays of the sun fell on the Viewers, breaking news coming in and once again it's coming in from Bengal. Stone pelting reporting during uh, Ram Navami procession in Murshidabad in West Bengal. Police and the CAPF, the armed police constabulary, say they have taken control of the situation. Komalika joins us for more on this. Komalika, what can you tell us? Okay, we don't quite have her right now. Viewers, for the last few hours, Mamta Banerjee has been apprehensive saying that riots are going to take place on Ram Navami day in Bengal. Now viewers, I can't say if this was a riot. I can't tell you right now on the basis of what we know, whether this was orchestrated, but Stone Pelting reported during the Ram Navami procession in Murshidabad in West Bengal. Komalika, what can you tell us about this incident? What really happened? Uh, see, what we are getting it is this is an area called Shaktipur where uh, they, when the procession uh, was on, there was a report of some stone pelting from uh, two sides. And uh, then, there was some, um, then there was some unrest there. The SP of the district, the uh, immediately CRPF was, went there, CAPF went there, and, and the, I mean, all the higher officials of the administration were there, and they uh, tried to control the situation. And right now, uh, the situation, all the senior officers with CRPF, they are doing route march out there. And, uh, and what we are getting uh, from the sources on ground, that they are trying to, uh, that the situation is uh, normal now in comparison to what it was uh, one or two hours back. Right. Thanks indeed. Uh, thanks indeed, uh, Kumulika Sen Gupta, giving us that update, uh, viewers. Uh, that is a fast evolving situation. We're going to be extremely careful given the volatile nature of these eruptions about uh, second guessing any of the facts. Uh, I'll hand you straight across uh, to Anand Narsiman, who joins us 
on the right stand. Namaste, Jai Hind and welcome to this edition of The Right Stand. I'm Anand Narsiman. Bharat has witnessed a remarkable surge in mobile phone exports to a record 15 billion plus dollars in the fiscal year 2023-2024 and this is propelled largely by the sales of iPhones. Now this marked a significant increase from 11.1 billion dollars recorded in the financial year 2023. Apple has played a pivotal role in this growth contributing to around 65% or approximately 10 billion dollars doubling its contribution from the previous fiscal year when it became the first smartphone to brand a uh, smartphone brand to achieve the $5 billion in exports from Bharat itself. Also, according to official data, the GEM portal has reportedly saved more than 80,000 crores.